Yar, Ego my Lego. It's Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game. Where you play through the four Pirates of the Caribbean movies as Legos. And it's hilarious. Sometimes better than the movies themselves, especially the middle ones. There was no need to make that too. But seriously, folks, this game brilliantly recreates the Pirates of the Caribbean series with predictable yet thoroughly entertaining gameplay and cutscenes that were done by some talented people who got the movies and storyline and jokes just right. While the game is playable by those who haven't seen the movies, many of the jokes and the storyline will be lost on you if you haven't. At times, the LEGO series of video games comes across as gimmicky and just as a way to keep Legos relevant, but this one, this one works well. Because while they're funny movies, they have a seriousness about them that's hilarious when portrayed by Legos. I particularly enjoyed the way that the Jack Sparrow Lego character runs around. From this staging area, you select one of the movies and play five different levels for each. It's a game for all ages and way better than the average kids game. While there's lots of different things to collect, the gameplay itself is very fun. It's a mixture of action, adventure, puzzle solving, and good old fashioned smashing everything in sight. You clear all of the levels in the storyline mode by figuring out the objectives and then completing them. Fans of the movies will chuckle each time you play through very familiar scenes and see how they've recreated them with Legos. Sometimes they do their own thing, other times they're more faithful to the source material. There's lots of familiar faces from the films as well, and as you play through the game, you add them to your Lego character collection. Certain characters are required to do certain things, and it should be noted that you can play two-player on screen simultaneously, which can become extremely confusing quickly. Especially during some of the levels where it's not entirely clear what it is that you're supposed to do And it can get chaotic when you've got a variety of characters to choose from and a whole bunch of people on screen All at once causing the gameplay to become a bit of a cluster Lego at that point It's a stronger single-player experience than a two-player game, but maybe two heads are better at once when trying to figure out some of the not entirely obvious puzzles in LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. While this is not a kid's game per se, it's nice to see objectives that aren't insultingly easy. In a game aimed at a younger audience, but not exclusively for kids. Like the movies themselves, LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean has broad market appeal. And you may find that the levels are even more enjoyable the second or third time that you play them once you've figured out the flow and what it is that you're supposed to do. So that you can smash, collect, and solve everything in the game. The level design in LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean deserves mentioning because unlike a lot of movie-based video games, they're not all exactly the same. They show a lot of creativity from level to level, which makes playing through LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean extremely enjoyable and not at all boring. While you're basically doing the same things over and over again, the environments are completely different, the tools and things available are different from level to level, the way that you use each of the characters varies, the music is awesome, I love the music from Pirates of the Caribbean. And the first or second time that you play through the game, it'll keep you thinking far more than the average movie-based video game. It should also be mentioned that LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean has gratuitous LEGO violence where you can blow them up with cannons and also hack and slash them with swords. So it's kind of like playing with real LEGOs. But instead of using your imagination, it's on screen. It's LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean, extremely well executed. This is available for numerous game consoles. This is the Xbox 360 version. Looks great, sounds good. Definitely recommended for fans of the movies or LEGO video games.
Huh? Hmm. Oh! Huh. <laughs> ah! 